Yo, what is good and welcome back to another video. Here we go, is AFL 23 delayed even further than the initial delay? At the moment, no, it is still planned to be released on May the 4th this year, so 2023. Um, until we hear otherwise, I know there has been a fair bit of rumors going around regarding the delay on the delay, if that makes sense. Um, but no, nothing official as of yet. We do have some more news for this week. There hasn't been much, honestly, being given out, especially over Gather Round. I know that Ross and uh, the Big Ant team were over at Gather Round, so here is some updates for you guys. So first of all, we have Luke Beveridge. He's currently not in the game. The only coach that isn't scanned in AFL 23. Um, so hopefully they can get that done before the release date. Uh, and if they don't, I'm not sure what road they're going to go down. We obviously would like to have Luke Beveridge in the game. Makes it a lot more authentic, especially if you are a Bulldogs fan. We should be some stage this week getting some footage or pictures, especially of Wit Noble. So um, it is confirmed that it will be in the game. We know that Victoria Park and Princess Park will also be in the game. But yeah, we should hopefully get a screenshot sometime this week. I'm tipping it will be maybe tomorrow or Friday um, if we are lucky. So we know that Big Ant has really given the reins to AFL this year in the sense of partnerships, um, including sponsors, all that sort of things, advertisements, you name it, the AFL are pretty much in charge of it. And we just got a sort of insight from Ross regarding this. Um, and why there hasn't been a huge amount of information being released, especially the past week or two since we did hear about the delay in the game. But he goes into more detail. He just says that everything has to be signed off with at least three levels of approval from sponsors, clubs, AFL, and of course themselves. But following on, we have a little bit more news, especially regarding uh, the season mode in AFL 23. And there was a question regarding if uh, Victorian teams such as Geelong, North Melbourne, St Kilda, Essendon, if they would play their finals games at home, so for instance at GMHBA or Marvel Stadium, or if they will be held at the MCG. Um, and Ross replied saying that they will be split between the teams, home grounds, but after the first week of finals, all games will be played at the MCG. There's another question regarding if the season opener, Anzac Day, Easter Games, would be randomized in future years or if it would be kept to the same teams. Um, he said that they would be fixtured between the teams that traditionally play those matches, which is pretty cool, I suppose, because you wouldn't want uh, anyone other than Essendon and Collingwood playing on Anzac Day. And the last thing regarding if Hawthorne, North Melbourne, Carlton and Essendon would split their home games between venues in future seasons or if they're locked into a predominant home ground. And Ross replied saying that they will be split between the venues as best as they could. Um, and they just sort of played a guessing game based on previous historical fixtures. So that is pretty cool as well. The last thing we have here is an actual photo. I'll get this thing up for you guys. Um, the back cover of AFL 23. Now, before you say anything, this isn't my photo. Um, but it does look like someone does have their hands on the game or has somehow got their hands on the game from whether EB Games or JB Hi-Fi. We see the Took Miller tackle, we see the Elliot Yo fend off, and we also get a new photo of the Port Adelaide AFL women's running through the banner. We see Feel the Atmosphere, and it has, as the crowd shouts, ball. So I'm hoping that the crowd does really get involved in this game. Um, you know, the atmosphere in the previous AFL games were a bit, a bit flat, to say the least. So if there is a bit more atmosphere in the game, it's obviously going to make it a lot better. Uh, we have Chase Your Dreams, a manager list, develop draftees into champions, take tactical control on game day, make the right moves to premiership glory, make your own, so obviously creation, tools, and this time it is real. So all AFL and AFLW teams have been modelled, including, um, you know, photo captures and all that sort of thing. Sort of the stuff we already know, but that is what the back of the game does look like. On to some further details, it says no offline mode, so I'm guessing you will need an internet connection to be able to play and sign in essentially. We know that it's one to four network players, 52 gigabyte minimum, so I'm assuming the digital copy will be at least 52 gigabytes. 
So I'm hoping that the game will be able to be pre-downloaded before the release date. Otherwise, it's gonna take a few hours to at least download that once initial release date does come. But other than that, yeah, in-game purchases, there isn't too much more to go into detail regarding that, but, you know, we sort of actually get to see the back cover. And like I said, no delay, or no further delay on the actual delay, which is good news for now. But yeah, that is it for now. Like I said in my previous video, I will be streaming Star Team and other AFL 23 content. So if you do like the sounds of that, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.